Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels. We had a great day pheasant hunting here in South Dakota. And now I'm gonna show you how uh, a couple different ways to clean your bird so that it is ready for legal transport. Now, one of which, if you've got a bird that the wings are completely intact, uh, no broken wings here, we can do one way that is pretty quick by standing on the wings here, grab a hold of the legs and just pull. And when you do that, this bird was eating well, eating the Milo. You're gonna leave just the, the pull a little bit of these feathers off here. You're gonna leave just the breast meat here, breastbone intact with the wings attached to it so we can show this is for sure a rooster. Now you can leave both of them attached or you could clip one of them off, but that is one way that we can uh, clean a pheasant. All right, so we finished this one up. Now we're gonna go to this next bird and this bird has a broken wing. So we can't do the step on method. What we're gonna be able to do is take these legs. We're gonna pinch the skin here with our thumb and finger. It's kind of like what would be the flank skin. We're gonna grab that and then just push the legs down. And then that opens up your skin on front. Now. As we peel this back, and shows the breast. If you are at your house, you go ahead and just fillet this off here. But if you're gonna need to transport the bird, what we're gonna do is similar to what happened with the last, uh, with the step on method. We're gonna pull this skin, that breaks open here, and then we grab thumb right here, and then pull the neck down. And as you rip the head off, and just keep pulling and clean that out. And then that's gonna leave you with the same thing that you had before that we couldn't do in a step down method. So again, no knives needed, we're breasted, we're ready for, for transport there. Now here, if you like those legs, you can finish skinning that and then it'll take just Popping these guys out here. And then I'm gonna grab a knife quick and we'll cut that off. So we'll just take and cut right down here. We'll cut through that bone. We've already dislocated that joint there. We'll cut through the meat. You can come on the back side, you can see here's that socket right there. We'll just cut right around that. And then you have your leg. You gotta leave the bottom part attached so they can see the spur. That's gonna say, this is a rooster. No shot, young rooster, but a rooster. We can add that leg to the pile. We'll get the rest of this cleaned up for processing later, but this is all. Um, we pull a little more of this skin here. We'll run our knife right around here. There we go. So feathers pretty much completely gone and ready to go. Now we've got our leg and thigh to add to the pile. If you don't like legs and thighs, you can stick with just the breast meat, but we'll do this one here, same, same way. We're gonna pop that out of its socket. You can hear it pop right there. And then we're just gonna cut around it. Get skin and feathers out of the way. Again, we have thigh and leg attached. Cut around here again. Finish that out. So these are ready to go. We'll get these cleaned up a little bit and then thrown in a bag so that we can take them back to the house and finish getting them cleaned up. All right. So we've done a step on the wing method. We had a bird with a broken wing, so we couldn't do that. And I showed how you can just 
peel the skin off, um, expose that breast, and then basically rip the neck and spine out. And you have, again, your bird. You need to have either the, you have to have your wing attached so you can show that it is a rooster uh, when you are transporting birds. And then um, the last would be, we've got these birds here at the lodge. We're gonna go ahead and clean them and eat one this evening. Um, same thing again here. We're gonna grab this skin, push down on the legs, pop that open, and then as we peel this back, we can just grab our knife and run this right down along the breastbone there. And then you're gonna hit that Y. Your Y bone, there's a bone that Y is right here. And we will take and follow right along that and just fillet this out of here. We stay out of the um, abdominal wall there just by running a knife along it. And then around the shoulder to this wing socket here. And finish that off like so. Then we have the breast meat ready to go with that inside little tenderloin piece. Got a piece shot, pick that bad boy out of there. So that guy's ready. We'll flip it over and we'll do the other side here. Same thing, cut right down along the, the breastbone and then follow down where that bone lies and then just fillet that right out of there. Finish that, pull a couple feathers here. Good to go, good to go. Now, there's a... Uh, there's a couple different ways to clean pheasants. It's pretty quick, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, the keys are, if you are transporting those birds home with you before you're gonna eat them, you need to have proof that it is a, in fact, rooster pheasant. So leaving that leg attached or the wing attached so that you can do that. Definitely guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you have questions, let us know or throw in the comment below recipes that you like to cook pheasants with and uh, we will catch you next time. Thank you.